So the final part is that we have now finished the uh, initial installation. So you can see here, what we tried to do with my base is make it as simple and straightforward as possible, but also ensuring that you're doing the key things that you need to do whilst doing your initial install. Next, we're gonna to go to service an existing device. So again, click on the existing device. Um, as we're doing the initial install, make sure that the system's on test, make sure it's powered up as you would as imagine, and obviously commission, which doing a maintenance visit, you would expect it to be powered up and also commissioned. So next we'll go to start service. So we've got the same options again, scan QR code, enter the connection ID or browser site, but we'll go to the scan QR code. So we'll scan the QR code, and this will now bring up the information again. So we can see the site's connected. We can see it's in John's house. We can see the connection ID. We can see that it's on pins only. And we can see the signal strengths on the devices at the bottom there. So next step is that let's test the alarm system. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna send test alarms through to the monitoring station. The site's already been commissioned when you did the initial install. What we now wanna make sure is that the signals are getting through to the monitoring station when we test them. So if you're installing a single path device, so a DigiAir Pro 4G or a DigiAir Pro LAN, when you test the uh, test alarms, you will get two alarms that go through to the monitoring station. When you're doing dual path, so which is either dual radio or IP and 4G, you'll get four test calls that go through to the monitoring station. But next part is we'll send the, uh, the, the test alarms. So we've sent the request through to send the test alarms and we'll just let it count down again like we did before. Um, I say if you want to update the information quicker, then you can update it quicker. So if I scroll down, I'll see uh, one of the test alarms going through. But we'll do, again just let it see. Um, we'll, we'll see the, the the test calls come through when it refreshes. One of the other things that we get lots of phone calls for within uh, tech support team is can you send test alarms for us? I mentioned before that you can press the C button on the device to send test alarms, or on the app we've now got this process here, so we can now see that those alarms have all gone through to the monitoring station. So the service of device is just making sure that you do the key things that you have to do when doing your install. We wanna make sure that that dual comm unit is working correctly. So next step is all about checking the firmware. This for me is probably the biggest change that we've had on alarm signaling. And I would think of your dual comm pro device as an iPhone, is that every so often there's an update to the iPhone to improve stability, patches, so on and so forth. The dual comm device is exactly the same, is that we will provide updated firmware to improve performance, to roll out better features, et cetera. So at this point here, when you check the firmware, this will tell you if you are on the latest firmware. This My Device is on the latest firmware, as it says there, you know, great news. Um, if you're not on the latest firmware, it will then give you the option to update it to the latest firmware. Once you select update the firmware, you are going to ensure that your pro device is on the latest firmware, the latest technology and the latest features and, uh, and benefits. So really, really important as we're doing that service that we do that. Also, when we do an install, if you it will also confirm if, you, if you're not on the latest firmware update, it will make you update to the, the latest firmware. So next step, I've now completed 